What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Dean Renner here, back with the final race vlog of 2019. Yes, we are squeezing in one more before the year is out. Today is the day of the Hereford Courier's Christmas 10K, formerly known as the Why Wonder 10K. A challenging, well, I don't know, undulating 10K apparently. So today we're going to go and have some fun. I got home from Park Run yesterday, put on Facebook, and an event that I was interested in popped up, which was this one. And I checked, just being nosy, and it said they were on the day entries available. So of course I asked the wife, made sure everything was okay and she gave me that permission so today is exciting we're going off to run the final race of the year i can't wait it's just going to be a good laugh today good fun nothing serious burn off those christmas calories and see see what we can do on an undulating course so as always i will see you when we get there So there we go guys, back from the Hereford 10K. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I thought I'd take the camera with me today as I wasn't taking it too seriously, but it ended up being a really, really great race. Little festive medal there, that felt great. And just before we get into the race recap, 
very sad news. The Rincons, about 180 miles in them, they felt really flat today. They've completely lost their pop. So although this was my shoe of the year, I'm very sad to say that this is probably the last race outing these things will be getting. So 10th place, uh, 10th, uh, yeah, 10th place overall today, guys, 36.07 on a rather undulating course. Really, really happy. Once again, just like Gloucester, I dialed into that 540, 550 pace on the rolling tarmac today in Hereford and it felt good it felt comfortable that base building has been paying off i put the uh, screenshot on uh, now of the paces that we were running 6.27 miles it came up as uh yeah 6.27 miles sorry average pace 546 and most importantly the cadence is up 169 today as opposed to the usual 164 or 166 that we've been racing in so that cadence work the drills all of that stuff is paying dividends so let's run through the race very quickly um, it was undulating to say the least. Not horrific, but it was just rolling. It was always up or always down. We started on an uphill and I didn't have any expectations for today, to be perfectly honest with you. Today was just about going out there, burning off the Christmas pudding, having some fun. And we certainly did that. So we started on an uphill mile. We come out on the tarmac and we chug up and then we have a nice sharp downhill. And the course is basically, I think it was about a 7k loop. And then we had like a, a, a K and a half to get out to the loop and a K and a half back. So what we ran in the first K and a half, we had to then run on the way back. So we had a long descent up and then a short, sharp descent down, which we then came back up on the way back. Then we had a nice loop around the surrounding villages on quite open country lanes. Now, there was a couple of uh, long hills in there and a couple of short, sharp very small 10 20 meter stretches that you just kind of have to plow up and then keep going it just knocks your stride a little bit but you know what overall i felt really really strong today as i said the first mile was average uphill the second one then i really got into my rhythm 540 i think it was or 541 and i felt really good i thought this is this is great to get that pace feeling good breathing well starting to take a few people feeling good and settling into a rhythm we then hit mile three again 549 or 545 i can't remember exactly what it was feeling good and then there was a bit of a climb a long gradual climb up to the top of probably about three and uh probably at three and a half up to 5k just before 5k sorry it felt like it was uh probably about a k's climb roughly long but not too steep so again could keep a rhythm but was chugging hard but up there got to 5k ran in 1801 according to the board markers so again felt good knew that at about five or six k i had a nice k very gentle downhill because we've been doing a lot of rolling and undulation up to that point so what goes up must of course come down headed back down that way for about a k and again clocked to 545 and that felt really really good and i think we got to about 7k as we entered sorry uh about six seven eight k and we were coming round back to the beginning of the loop and again just a few little undulating rolly bits in there just to take the sting out of your stride but again felt really strong at that point tagged on with a hereford courier runner uh and we kind of pushed ourselves to the end it was great to have a bit of company there because i was kind of in no man's land a little bit so we ran a little bit together which was great and then he said to me at the time just beware what comes up must go down what we came up and then down sharply we then have to go back up so I was kind of being prepared mentally for at 9k that short sharp uphill that just completely or well, we flew down in the beginning that was going to kill any kind of pace that I had at the time so I was kind of preparing for that but I felt good all the way up to there I was just dropping off the back of him he was running nice and strong and then we hit that uh, that uh, short sharp climb at the end felt really really good and just went up it tried to stay within a few meters of uh, him and I did thankfully and we got to the top another chat went past at that point so there was three of us running together pretty much within five meters or so and I just basically tagged onto the back of them and we got to the top of that and it was a nice downhill to finish and put it put the afterburners on at the end sub five minute mile pace for the last 0.27 uh, of the race and I came across the line in 36.07 which I'm absolutely delighted with it was just such a fantastic event really well organized by the Hereford 
Walker is and something that I'll certainly consider next year if I've got nothing on. It's been brilliant weather today, about 10 degrees, no wind, nothing. It was just perfect racing conditions and I couldn't think of a better way than to finish off the racing year with another solid, strong 10k performance. Roll on that sub 36 when I can get out on a nice flat and fast course and clearly take the racing line. So that's it for today, the last race vlog of 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the filming. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. Hopefully next time I see you will be for my running goals in 2020. Until then.